We will, however, start to measure this. Now, the question then is, how do we measure it? My name is Jeff Martin. I'm the Tonemeister and Technology Specialist in Sound Design here at Bang & Olufsen in Denmark. Uh, my job is to work in the acoustics department doing the final tuning of our loudspeakers. And one of those is the new BLAB 90. This is our flagship speaker that we released about uh, a year ago. The idea behind this concept is that what we're trying to do is essentially give the same experience in your living room on your sofa that a recording engineer would get when they listen to the recording in a studio. In order to do that, we're trying to minimize the amount of energy that's bouncing off the walls on the sides of your living room. What we're trying to do is put as much sound out the front as we can, but minimizing the beam as much as possible so there's less energy going towards the sidewalls. What that means is that there's less influence in the listening position on your sofa of the room itself. So there's less uh, impact of your sidewalls in the sound that you're hearing when you're sitting on the sofa. What we do is we take the speaker and we put it on that thing above my head, which is called the crane. And the crane hangs from the ceiling and it can move in and out on that rail that you see up on the ceiling. When that sound wave is going out from the speaker, it hits the microphone first. That's why they're floating in the middle of space up there. But once it hits the mic, it keeps going, of course, and it hits the walls and it starts coming back. And just before those reflections, that first reflection gets back to the microphone, we shut off the microphone. So in essence, what the computer sees is how that speaker behaves in infinite space. And then we rotate the measure again and 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 again. And again, and again. So we have a complete view of the horizontal radiation of this speaker. And then we can tilt the speaker, and we can do it again and again and again and again, and tilt it and do it again and again and again and again. So that's basically if we do nothing. And actually, as we go through different products, that difference is getting smaller and smaller because he's getting better and better able to predict what I'm going to complain about. And that's basically my, my job here is to put myself out of a job. Before me, after me. So this is what goes into the store. And if we jump back to where we started. Of course, it's not enough to just know the measurements. So once all those measurements are finished, we take the loudspeaker into a listening room, actually three, four different louds, uh, listening rooms. And, and we uh, do a lot of listening to different types of music, not only to do the final adjustments of the speaker, but also to identify if there's something in the speaker that we haven't seen in the measurements. So the, in essence, the last step in our loudspeaker development is listening to music in real rooms by real people and identifying whether or not this, this speaker is ready to be put on the market. Of course, we're always doing that. Um, so BLAB 90, uh, which we released about a year ago, that, um, that listening process that's just stopped recently actually because we're still coming out with new software updates. But of course, we always have something new in the pipe that's coming out in, in the near future.